One early morning, as Uwa's parents were fighting, her father slapped her mother so hard and this caused her death as she collapsed and died on the spot. Once upon a time, there lived a very beautiful orphan girl named Uwa who lived at the outskirts of a very beautiful village. Uwa lived with a woman named Ndidi as her parents died when she was still a baby. Many have said that Uwa was behind her parents' death despite the fact that she was only a baby when her parents died. It had been rumored that after Uwa was born, many strange things began to happen in her family. The first of these happenings was the mysterious death of all her father's cattle on the same day that she was born. Next, her parents' businesses began to collapse and all the monies they had saved mysteriously disappeared leaving them penniless. Not long afterwards, Uwa's mother and father began to have serious issues that made them fight all the time. One early morning, as Uwa's parents were fighting, her father slapped her mother so hard and this caused her death as she collapsed and died on the spot. Out of fear, her father ran away from their hut, trying to escape from the village when a big branch from a huge tree fell and killed him instantly. Uwa's mother and father died on the same day and this got the villagers talking as such a tragedy had never befallen anyone in the village before. Uwa was left all alone in her parents' hut and the villagers deliberated on what they were going to do now that her both parents were dead. The villagers feared what would become of them if they allowed the baby to live amongst them as they believed that Uwa was cursed with the spirit of bad luck. They all collectively agreed for the baby to be dumped inside the evil forest as that was where they banished anyone believed to be cursed. On their way to the evil forest, a young woman named Ndidi rushed towards the villagers and pleaded for them not to send the baby into the forest. She pleaded that the baby be given to her instead as she could not sit back and watch the baby being abandoned in the evil forest. The villagers looked at her in shock as they could not understand why anyone would want to take in a child that reeks of bad luck. They agreed to hand the baby over to her on the condition that she lives with the child on the outskirts of the village away from the other villagers. The young woman agreed and Uwa was then handed over to her. Her eyes glistened with joy as she looked at the baby who was sleeping peacefully at the time. Ndidi took the baby to the outskirts of the village and on her way, she noticed that heavy rain began to fall, so she ran to avoid the rain. Ndidi never left the baby alone as she assumed the role of a mother in her life. For years, Ndidi lived with Uwa at the outskirts of the village and encountered several terrible situations but she never gave up on Uwa as she took her like her own daughter. After so many years, Uwa grew up into a very beautiful woman. Her life had been a roller coaster as no day passed without Uwa encountering bad luck. Despite this, Uwa never gave up as she always picked herself up and forged ahead despite all that had happened to her. Uwa was an inspiration to Ndidi, who wondered where she drew her strength from, despite all the pitfalls she had encountered all her life. One day, Uwa went to the stream to fetch some water 
when her pot mysteriously broke. This was the third time her pot was breaking in one week and Uwa sat down by the stream as she wondered why terrible things always befell her. Uwa sat down by the stream for hours, reflecting on her life which seemed to be plagued with bad luck. She then stood up to head back home when she heard a light thudding sound. She tried to ignore the sound but found herself following the sound to where it came from. Who arrived a small hut, not too far from the stream, and noticed that the sound was coming from the hut. So she decided to enter the hut and called out, but no one answered. The next thing she noticed was that the door behind her shut closed, and this sent shivers down her spine. Uwa tried to run out of the hut but couldn't as the door refused to open. A bright light then overshadowed the hut as a voice called out her name saying, Uwa, I have watched you all your life and seen how bad your life has turned out. Your resilience, despite all that has happened, has intrigued me and I am here to help you. Look to the table to your left and you will see a shoe. Take the shoe home and wear it wherever you go and you will enjoy luck in abundance. Once the voice finished talking, the light disappeared and Uwa looked at the table and saw a very beautiful shoe. She took the shoe home and wore it, then noticed that whatever she did with the shoe on worked perfectly. Uwa no longer had to worry about bad things happening to her as everything she laid her heart to do flourished. One morning, Uwa woke up and noticed that her magical shoe had disappeared. She looked all over the place for the shoe but couldn't find it. She then decided to visit the hut close to the stream where the voice had given her the shoe but to her greatest surprise, the hut was nowhere to be found. Uwa returned home sad and asked her mother Ndidi if she had seen the magical shoe. But Ndidi told her that she had no idea where the shoe was. Uwa was so disappointed as she could not believe that her life would once more be horrible. Bad things began to happen to her all over again. And this time, Uwa tried so hard not to be disappointed. She was grateful for the good times that she had and did not let the turn of events to affect her negatively. One day, Uwa heard a knock on their door. She rushed to open up the door as no one had ever visited them. She was confused to see a young woman standing outside their hut. Who are you and how can I help you? Uwa asked the strange woman who asked her if she knew why her life was filled with so much bad luck. And Uwa replied the woman saying that she had no idea as she was told that she was born with the spirit of bad luck. The woman then revealed to her that many years ago, her parents visited a very powerful woman in a village asking for a child. They had been married for over 10 years without a child and the villagers had begun to call them all sorts of names. So they made up their minds to go in search of a child, damning every consequence. When they arrived the powerful woman's hut, the powerful woman told them that she would give them a child only on one condition, that the child would not have luck on her side as she will suffer from bad luck all the days of her life. Being so desperate, Owa's parents agreed to the powerful woman's condition as they were more focused on wiping the shame off their faces by having a child. Unluckily for them, the same bad luck ended their lives. When Owa heard this, she could not believe that all her life, she had suffered for her own parents' desperation. 
She then asked the woman what she could do as she was tired of dealing with bad luck in her life. The woman then told Uwa that to break the curse of bad luck, she had to go in search of the powerful woman who helped her parents many years ago. The woman told Uwa that she had to do so as soon as possible as she had a few days before the curse would become permanent. The woman then directed Uwa to the powerful woman's hut and Uwa set out immediately following all the instructions that the young woman had given to her. She journeyed for a few hours and arrived at the powerful woman's hut. She was filled with so much fear as this was the first time that she was ever visiting anyone in her life. She walked into the hut and was confused at what she saw. Uwa met her adopted mother Ndidi inside the hut. What are you doing here mother? She asked with confusion written all over her face. It was then that she realized that her adopted mother Ndidi was the powerful woman who placed the curse on her many years ago. Ndidi, many years ago, knew the gravity of the situation that Uwa's parents were bringing upon themselves, so she monitored all that was happening. When she realized that her parents were dead, she decided to step in to save the child, as she knew that the child would die if the villagers had abandoned her in the evil forest. All these years, Ndidi did all she could to protect Uwa, but she could not reveal herself to Uwa, as doing so would automatically make the curse permanent and irreversible. So, she decided to first give Uwa a feel of the good life by giving her the magical shoe. But when she noticed that time had begun to run out on Uwa, she invoked the spirit of Uwa's mother to go deliver the message to her daughter and also direct her to her heart as only Uwa's parents could reveal all that had happened to her without the curse becoming permanent. Uwa was filled with shock as she could not believe that Ndidi, her caretaker and the woman she had known as a devoted mother all these years was the same woman who had placed the curse upon her at her parents' desperate request. However, instead of anger or resentment, Uwa found herself overwhelmed with a sense of understanding and compassion. Ndidi had taken on the role of her protector, shielding her from the dare fate that awaited her had she been cast into the evil forest. Filled with an odd mix of emotions, Uwa confronted Ndidi about the recent disappearance of the magical shoe. Ndidi then revealed to her that the time for the curse to become irreversible was drawing near. She implored Uwa to listen carefully and follow her instructions, emphasizing that time was of the essence. Ndidi then told Uwa that breaking the curse requires Uwa to return back to her parents' hut in the village. Uwa was instructed not to stop on the way no matter what happened, and that when she arrived at her parents' hut, she would see a strange symbol etched on a rock nearby. Uwa was instructed to touch the symbol and speak her heart's desires, which would be granted unto her. Uwa, after receiving these instructions, embarked on the journey back to her parents' hut, following Ndidi's instructions meticulously. Along the way, she encountered various obstacles and temptations that tested her resolve, but she was persistent, keeping the goal in sight. When she reached the hut, exhausted and emotionally drained, she found the symbol etched on the rock. With a mixture of hope and apprehension, Uwa touched the symbol and spoke earnestly about her desire to be free from the curse that had plagued her all her life. Suddenly, 
A gentle breeze enveloped her, and the symbol on the rock began to glow. It emitted a soft golden light that surrounded Uwa. The light seemed to draw out the negative energy that had followed her all her life. As the light faded, Uwa felt a weight lifting off her shoulders. She realized that the curse had been broken. Tears of relief and joy welled up in her eyes as she comprehended that she was finally free from the clutches of the bad luck that had haunted her all her life. Uwa returned to Ndidi, who awaited her at their home. With a mixture of emotions, she thanked Ndidi for her protection and guidance. She came to understand that Ndidi's actions, born from a desire to safeguard her, were an act of love and sacrifice. From that day forward, Uwa's life took a remarkable turn as she was free from the shackles of the curse that had plagued her life from birth. The lesson to be learned from this story is that, in life, giving up is not an option. No matter the situation you find yourself, always persevere as perseverance is a key trait to have to survive the challenges life throws at us. Always remember that in every situation, there is always light at the end of the tunnel. So do not give up midway, but push through the hurdles as the end would always be worth the entire journey. I hope you enjoyed the story. Like, subscribe and leave a comment. It helps us grow our channel. I'll see you in our next story. Bye.